Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Gungnir! Last time, we rescued Valerie from the imperialists there, or the evil empire, the people who rule the whole place. Give the orders and everything. Yeah, he's the leader, but I, I was just kind of sitting there on the sidelines. I, I was giving orders, delegating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, well, more than a few, but, yeah. Well, they weren't, uh, they were wrong. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Why? We, we don't really have much of an army. Well, I mean, Ragnus is a Dalton. So, what's wrong with her? What do you mean? What kind of help? Oh, do tell! Do you have some soldiers you can lend to our cause? What happened? Nuts. Oh, so they have a parliament? I didn't think they did that with empires. Hmm. Nuts. Maybe you should have planned better. Oh yeah, we were kind of heading there on our way. Yeah, someone was telling us about that. I wonder how they knew about that anyway. Hmm. I don't think they ever explain it. Well, sounds like a plan. We could use the help. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, we were just kind of going around the back end, but that works too. Well, yeah, that would help in a rebellion. Well, it's not my name, but whatever. Oh, what's going on? Well, if you don't kill the fairies, you get a little extra scene here. Or dialogue, I guess. And some of this probably goes the same as before, but... Well, you'll see. What's going on? Oh, well, okay, never mind then. Pay no attention to the tree that isn't here anymore, viewers. Probably not important. Actually, I don't, I don't think it is important. I mean, they kind of make a big deal out of it and everything, but n nothing ever comes of it. So it's like, uh, okay. What do you mean? What higher power? Oh. Well, yeah, lightning would do that. Oh, okay, sorry, my, my mistake. Isn't that the same thing? Oh, well, okay, never mind then. You come from Valhalla or something? Oh, well. Hey, how, what's going on? Well, yeah, for the bad guys. Well, that's good for us, isn't it? I'd be kind of dead without it. Like a Hexes or something? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Though I suppose it is kind of like the same deal. Well, we gotta kill the bad guys first. Hmm. 
What forbidden door? I kind of already have, haven't I? With the Gungnir and everything? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Well, hey, all right. Would have been funny if I uh, published this episode yesterday with that, but oh well. With the holiday and everything, but oh well. <laughs> what a coincidence. Well, see you later. And we'll never see them again. Actually, I don't think we do. But, all right. More party members. Okay, first things first. Make a backup save, just in case. I like making a backup save after every battle in the game. <laughs> I'm paranoid like that. Okay, so, let's see what they got at the shops here from the fairy there. We could still buy weapons, though, if we killed the fairies, I would imagine. But, anyway, we want to get the Icicle Rod. First real good rod we can get in the game. It's got some nice magic spells. You saw the uh, sorceress there using that. And yeah, we can inflict freeze, uh, silence with it. It's really nice. Okay, so we got that. Let's see. Want to get a raven cloth there for uh, Valerie. It is a little pricey, but that's okay. And let's see. Our first good magical uh, hand armor in the game. The Mystic Bangle. The real nice thing about this one, you see in the uh, upper left there where it says hit and then there's a cast stat there. That's your casting stat. Basically what that means is it will reduce the charge time of your spells by, well, 25% there. So that's pretty, not that, pretty nice. So like uh, the first spell that we got on the Icicle Rod has a charge time of 18, reduced by 25%, rounded down, and its charge time would be 14. So, something to keep in mind there. And we absolutely want to get Fire Boots here. They are one of my favorite pieces of foot armor because, as you see on the left there, they prevent the burn status. It's really common and really nasty to have to deal with. Basically, burn is a uh, DOT, or damage over time, like poison. Except burn, uh, if two units are knocked into each other and one of them has the burn status, it'll spread the burn status to the other units. Uh, you can also cure the burn status by jumping into water. So, it does have some advantages and disadvantages over poison. In general, I prefer to use burn, though. But you can go whatever way you want. Okay, let's see what they got here. Kokiri? No, no, that's another game of yours. But, let's see, we got some of those here, but I don't really care about that. Yeah, they just, yeah. Okay, what else we got that's new? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, okay, I guess that uh, multi-targets are healing. But, yeah, nothing that I really care about there. Okay, so let's sell some stuff. Get rid of the Carnage Claw. Anything else? Nope, we're good there. Okay, let's uh, get our party set up then. Okay, so for the next battle, let's get Valerie going there. I want to equip you with the Wildcat Claw. Reason being is because it can inflict sleep. But you can't learn any new abilities for it. So, oh well, but it's okay. Okay, I want to give you... Let's see, I thought we had an extra Iron Mask. There you are. So we get that for you. And I want to equip you with an Antidote. So that way uh, you can cure the... Uh, what is it? Uh, the Poison status coming up in the next battle here. I also don't want to equip uh, Body Armor on her. Like the uh, Raven Clothes. I don't want to do that just yet. And I also don't want to equip any boots on her, like the Amazon boots, because in the next battle, we're going to be running into a couple brutes that can break our body armor and footwear. So we've got to be careful with that. Once I kill them, though, I will equip the new stuff. 
But for now, we'll leave her alone. Okay, so we got your rainy saber, hard leather, power gaunts, wheel greaves, and let's go for a stunner belt now. Now that we got more party members that we can use in the next battle. And let's see, I don't want to equip a shield or anything like that. And I'm not going to have Julio on the front lines, at least not to start. So I'm just going to equip everything on him to, just to go. Okay, let's see. Paulo. Let's see, I want to give you the new icicle rod. It's going to be really nice there because, yeah, it can inflict the... Oh, it's a frozen status. Sorry, freeze, frozen, whatever. But yeah, it'll lock enemy units in place, which would be really, really good for us. Let's keep the Sooty Testament, just in case. And let's get the new hand armor that I got for you. Yeah, that'll be really nice. Okay, Tough Boots and... Well, I didn't need to use those, but I could have. Let's get some more antidotes going. And let's see, I think you're good there, Paula. Let's see, Joseph. Got that. Let's get rid of the body armor for now. Okay, Power Gaunts and Stunner Bell. Because I'm going to keep him on the front lines there. So, yeah, he, I want him to not have any of his equipment being broken. Okay, Martin. Pretty much the same as before, I think. You know what? Let's go uh, give you the other pair of Tough Boots, though. We'll be fine, because next battle we've got five party members that we can use. So I can afford to increase my capacity a little bit there. And let's see, we got Ragnus, who I'm not really going to make any changes at all to. Okay. Let's see what we got with uh, Alchemy there. I've already sold the weapons, or excess weapons. Let's see, we got a couple bucklers there. I want to hold on to one hard leather, because I'm going to want uh, Joseph to equip that once we kill the other brutes. And Battle Clothes are really good. You could give them to Valerie. But I like the Ravencloth a little better there. So let's just uh, refine this one. See, I don't think we need the Vantages anymore. So let's just get rid of those. See, Magic Gauntlets. One thing they can do if you're using uh, Paladin or Sorceress there. The boost, well, increases your magic damage by 50%. So it's basically the Power Gaunts for magic. But I don't have a Paladin or a Sorceress. So I'm not going to bother with those. Let's just get rid of those there. Sorry if I'm talking a little funny. My throat is getting a little dry from talking so much. <laughs> okay, for footwear, got a couple fire boots we want to hold on to. Wheel greaves, Amazon boots. Those would be really nice for Valerie once we take out the brutes there. So yeah, move and jump boost. And it's got a really good counter number too. Not that I can use it right now, but later in the game, it'll be really nice. Let's see, fire boots. Yeah, counter number two. I don't really care about that too much, so. Oh, well. Eventually, we will get footwear that has some uh, counter numbers that I care about, but not right now. But anyway, the four-leaf clover, you can use it in battle to give one of your units the lucky status, which, uh, from what I've heard basically causes you to always deal max damage from the range of damage that you can use. So that could be useful, but look at those gems I can get out of it. Holy cow, 50 gems. So yeah, I'd rather do that. That's a really good reason not to kill the uh, pixies in the battle there. Now, as far as weapon upgrades go, let's see what we got. Okay, so let's see. We got what there? Okay, the Icicle Rod. I want to get that up to level 5 there. We got plenty of gems to do uh, to do that with. Let's see. And let's see. The Battle Axe. I would like to get that up to uh, max level, which would be, well, plus 9. So two more levels. We ought to be able to get that going. We're going to be using the Battle Axe for the whole game because... Breaking body armor is so good. Did I just save a moment ago? I forget, but I'm paranoid. Yeah, I probably did, but let's just save that again. So I will take care of upgrading all that equipment off screen. For now, let's see what we got coming up here. 
Ah, so this must be at the uh, Carossa Prison, huh? Or Carossa, or however you pronounce it. Nuts. What do you mean? What do you have to wager with? You're in a prison! Why? Nuts. Yeah, we're kind of all going to get executed here. What do you mean? Nuts. Jerk. Maybe you should uh, try not antagonizing them. Or giving them the holier-than-thou attitude. I mean, they're wrong, too. Well, probably more wrong. But... There's a difference between motivation and justification, in my book, anyway. Oh, yeah, I suppose some of us would be there. Well, we're gonna get all of you out, so... Hooray! So yeah, we're just gonna go totally around the uh, Victorian stronghold there and go to the prison. Putting like one of your key defensive uh, areas right next to a prison? I don't know, call me crazy, but that doesn't seem like a really good idea. Oh well. Why don't they just kill them all right away? I mean, why bother putting someone in prison if you're just going to kill them later anyway? Whoa. What's going on here? Burn the witches! Burn them! Actually, ironically, the... Next battle, they have the witch job class. Call me sir, goddammit! Funny, I just watched that movie recently. <laughs> What's going on? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, that's probably true. Well, you, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, you'll kill everyone in the process, so it seems more efficient, I guess. I don't know what's going on in the background there, viewers. You got me on that one. Oh, maybe. You gotta capture us first. Oh. Well, okay. Never mind, then. What do you mean? Well, let's see if we can find your friends. Hopefully they didn't die yet. Well, not around here, apparently. So I guess you're going to be drunk all the time? Kind of a strange name to give someone, but okay, whatever works for you. By the by virtue of winning like every battle we fought up to now, shouldn't we like not be drags anymore? I mean, we're not the bottom of the barrel. Oh, so that's how they captured all of you. But yeah, we're not even the bottom of the barrel. Or the dirt stuck to the bottom of that. Or the dirt stuck to the bottom of that dirt. Well, you're... You seem really, uh... Passionate about your new job.
Well, a lot of them, or maybe even all of them. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal! Thought criminals? How are you going to control something like that? Whoa! Whoa, hey, hey, I, I wasn't challenging you or anything. Well, I guess by your definition. But can we avenge our fallen comrades at the hands of Bacchus? Find out next time on Let's Play Gunyer! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!